Hello everyone, I'm Guillermo Bautista Jr. and this is the GeoGebra and Function Art Seminar. So in this seminar, we're going to learn how to use GeoGebra in creating function art. Function arts are art constructions that incorporate graphs of mathematical functions. This is going to be our outline. Uh, in the first video, we're going to uh, learn about GeoGebra and its interface. In the second video, we are uh, learning about graphing and uh, we are going to look at the artwork that we will do at the end of the seminar and then we will have four videos on transformation of functions and lastly we are going to uh, do some sample artwork and also summarize what we have learned. So what is GeoGebra? Uh, GeoGebra is a dynamic mathematics software for uh, teaching and learning mathematics it combines algebra, geometry, calculus, statistics, and spreadsheet in one package. So it is free, available on uh, multiple platforms. If you have a computer, a tablet, or a mobile phone, uh, you can uh, download GeoGebra. If you're using um, Windows, Linux, Mac, you can also download GeoGebra. So um, it's, multi it's a multi-platform uh, software. Uh, as you can see on your screen, these are some of the sample applets uh, uh, created with GeoGebra. You can um, explore calculus, geometry. Uh, you can also do 3D, uh, some art, and some animation. So in this uh, webinar in particular, in the seminar, we are going to learn how to use GeoGebra to uh, create some art. This is the GeoGebra interface. We have the input bar here. You can type your equations here. This is the algebra view. This is where the algebraic properties of the objects will be displayed. So for example, if you um, construct a line here, the equation of the line will, will uh, appear here. This is the toolbar. Of course, you can use these tools to construct uh, and explore mathematical objects. You have the menu here. This is where you save and export your file and also so uh, other file management. And then we have the style bar here. This is where you change the properties of uh, mathematical objects. So properties and appearance, so for example, color, uh, style, thickness, and so on. And these are the different uh, perspectives. So where if you want to do 3D graphics, for example, you have to go to the 3D graphics uh, window. Right, so we will have a short uh, demo of uh, using GeoGebra and uh, its interface. Okay, so this is uh, what uh, GeoGebra looks like. Uh, this is the GeoGebra Classic 6. And here we have the algebra view. So this is where you type your uh, equation. So for example, f of x equals x squared. Okay, so as you can see, if you type the equation here, the graph will appear here. This is the toolbar. So if I uh, draw a line, for example, I need two points. And then as you can see, the properties of the objects here appear in the algebra view. So we have the points A and B and their coordinates, and also the line G and the equation. So if I move, if I move the points, you will see that the, of course, the equation and the coordinates also change. Okay. This is where you save your file in the menu box here. So you can save online if you have an account, you can also download and you can also export and you can save on your computer. Uh, this is the, the um, style bar. So if you want to change the color, for example, of the line, you can uh, click on the style bar and then change the color, the properties, for example, if you want to change the thickness, the style, and so on. And this is also the same with the point. So if you click on the point, you can also um, change the color, you can change the size, and also the style. As you can see, if you open GeoGebra Classic 6, we have the grid and also the X and Y axis. You can remove them also by using the style bar. So you have to click on, on the graphics view on an empty space here and then just click on style bar and then just remove the grid if you want and also 
the axis. And of course, uh, the toolbar here, uh, you can, you can uh, click on the toolbar to see all the tools that are available. So you can use these tools to construct and explore mathematical objects. So that's it for the overview of GeoGebra. I'll see you in the next video where we learn how to graph.